So in 2015, when I began my journey to financial freedom, I started out by doing lots and lots of research. I read tons of books. I watched many YouTube videos. And the first thing that I established was my philosophy. Everything starts with having a very positive mindset. It starts with knowing what you want, why you want it, and you have to be able to envision it before you can actually see it in your reality. I want to talk about the importance of having multiple savings accounts. I found that the method of having multiple savings accounts, not having your checking and savings at the same bank, allowed me and my family to be a better saver. We were able to start saving 50% of our income just by having our checking account and our savings account at separate banks. When thinking about philosophy around the things that you want to achieve in life, as I began my financial freedom journey, I found a quote that said, forego the ordinary so that you can enjoy the extraordinary. So even though myself and my family were not extreme minimalists, we do not live off the bare minimum in order to save money. We do follow a strict budget. We do pay ourselves first. And ever since the month of June, we've been saving 50% of our income. And I don't say this to brag, but I say this to share a technique that we've been using in order to pay ourselves first, save more money, and be able to invest in creating financial freedom and early retirement. So I want to share a video that I recorded a few months ago on Instagram on how I use the method of having multiple savings accounts at separate banks in order to maximize my savings. I am Marie Brown and this is Minds in Motion. So we've been talking about the things that we need to do in order to become wealthy or to become richer or my particular goal, which is to become a millionaire with at least $1 million in my bank account as my first goal. So in order to do that, you've been hearing me say a lot, a lot of times, very often that we must pay ourselves. And when I say we must pay ourselves, meaning we must save money in an account before we even pay our bills. The first thing that we must do is have money that we are saving towards a goal, either to make a bigger purchase or to invest first before we pay even one single bill. So when we talk about paying ourselves first, let's talk about banking and why I have multiple bank accounts. So the first account that everyone should have, of course, is a checking a check account, excuse me. And that's where all of your money is going to go so that it can be filtered out into the other accounts that I'm going to talk about. When you establish a checking account, make sure that you, especially starting now in your financial journey, establish a checking account that one, doesn't require a minimum and two, does not charge you monthly fees. Remember, you are on your way to creating wealth, to becoming rich, whatever that means to you. So you do not want to be paying your money out in fees. You don't want to be giving the money that you could be paying yourself to someone else to have that account. So if you currently have an account that charges fees or requires a minimum, then I would suggest that you do your research and you find an account that does not, one, have a minimum, and two, charge you monthly fees. Now, once you have your checking account set, set up, you want to make sure that you o open a savings account. Me personally, I suggest opening a savings account at a different bank than what you have your checking account at. The reason why I say that is because, again, I feel that online you can find better, higher interest savings accounts. And two, mentally or psychologically, when you don't have your savings and checking account at the same bank, you're not tempted to just 
transfer money over from your savings account into your checking account once the money in your checking account is gone. Now, I also suggest that once you start paying yourself first and you start to eliminate some of your unnecessary spending that you try to keep your checking account at at least a thousand dollars minimum so that as you have things being automatically draft drafted from them you're not stuck with overdraft fees and things of that nature so that's just something that i suggest but as you're on this journey like i say you'll find what works best for you but i do 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 highly suggest that you have your checking at one bank and then you open up a online high interest savings account guys there are many out there me personally i use discover because it's very simple and easy to use it gives me about a 2.8 interest yield and that's enough to beat out inflation and like i said it's just simple so i like simple that's why i go with that company now i also suggest having a, another account which is going to be for some type of goals that you have set so if you have a goal to buy a house or if you're doing your emergency fund i suggest that you have a separate account for that also so again i have one checking account i have one online savings account which is where I keep my emergency fund money. And then I have a third, which is a prepaid card that I use, which has a vault where you can transfer money over and save money. And I use that just for whatever my future goals are. I either wanna buy a house or a duplex, but I wanna buy some type of real estate, which allows me to earn passive income. So that is what I'm saving in my third separate account in a separate bank because as I'm working on my credit, I want to make sure that I have a low interest rate, which is another video, but that is what I'm saving that money for. So guys, make sure that you have multiple accounts at separate banks so that you're able to reach your savings goals and start your journey to your financial freedom freedom, becoming a millionaire, or getting rich. You guys have an awesome day.